Ooh. Welcome back to the Boomer Death Run with Parvati in the Outer Worlds. The basis choice, let's play. I guess, I guess. It's well, it's my choice. Yo, we're in here in the few geo, geothermal plant. Yeah, what's the name? What's the name? That's not the mission. Ah, uh, she geothermal plant. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, right, right, right. I'm gonna get the power diverted also. Oof, what the hell? Did you see that dodge maneuver? Whoa! I was too much impressed by its dodging maneuver. Playing this some more in the same session instead of Call of Duty Warzone. They made a 14 gigabyte update, introduced a new game mode, a Rocket League game mode. The problem is though, you can only allowed to play it if you own Modern Warfare 2, which I got myself a refund immediately after playing one hour. So I'm not playing that game mode. Uh, it's always disappointing if they give you a 40 gigabyte download and you can't even play it because you need to own a game to be allowed to play it. And that's a bummer. So now I'm playing it. The Outer Worlds again, which is a way better game anyways. Yeah, every way. Every way. Okay, let's see. What we gotta do here, this place always kinda confused me. The Diverting Power mission always kinda confused me. But I feel like Pavati is gonna talk to us in a second and it's gonna be explained. So that was the cigarettes. Right, right. Plant status. Reject power. Can't do it yet. No? Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Okay, thanks for the update, girl. Oh, is my arm already broken? Is that what I'm seeing? 69%. That's still nice. That's still nice. Can't complain. That's Oh god, why am I doing that? <laughs> that was the most stupidest thing I've ever... <laughs> mind your head, yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't mind that. That was just stupid. I just went for it, I just saw it run and I needed it dead. <laughs> We're making smart decisions here, okay. I got a replacement armor. That's actually a good find, not gonna lie. The old pink armor hack, science, science, sneak, and stealth skills. Don't need that right now. That is an ugly armor, though. I did not see a reshade for the ugly piece of armor that it died, toothpaste. Okay, that's all of my bypass. Hey, that's impressive. Circus. I don't know what they called. Do. Thanks, thanks for the updates. I definitely did read through all of that. And I no, I cannot. Really? Chief's Chief's key card don't have it. Ah uh, there are bots nearby. Got it. Heads down. Get ready. There aren't YouTube view bots, so we don't need them. Bart. Okay, here's somebody dead. What salt tuna? I should drink something, Mr. Rauch. I need to sell mods too. Too many of them. Super. That's not. Stimulation. Speed stimulation. I don't know what that does, to be honest. I can. That's good. Let's eat one of those things. 
a new natural tea. Got it. Good, good, good. Um, I'm orating. Let's drop that in here. And creep around more. Plant worker. Didn't even get a name, cool guy. Okay, right around this corner, right around here. Job tanking Parvati. That's one switch. Just two more. What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the veil? What the hell is Miss Devitt? That other liar's second name? Yep, still can't pronounce it, Tom. I don't think I will ever do be capable of pronouncing that. Looks safe. This doesn't look safe to go up. You. Let's shimmy around here. So much that automate automatrons automatrons automatrons. Damn! I should just start talking German right now because I can't talk English. Ugh, that's bad. This like um. A threshold if I say too many words that I'm just getting dumber and just can't talk anymore and it just makes no sense uh, worth it not really not really at all So that's the place where all the bots are. Okay. Nothing of use? No. So I need to go through here. No, 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 just leave me alone. Huggins. I know you. Let's talk, Mr. Hux. Go away, Phantom. I am the phantom. I'm pretty sure about it. Missed. God damn it. That's the secondary way to go. Get away! Get away! No. I refuse, man. gonna talk mr huggins doesn't matter if you don't like it get away it's cool one one liners in fact i'm uh, i'm stealing all your stuff go away phantom oh here's a bat here huh. there it is i knew it good we got Thomas's gift. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. The Phantoms? Where? You can talk? The Phantoms never talked before. Well, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Dump. Higgins. This Phantom. This has got a name. No. You can't possibly be a hallucination. You're much too dense. Not at all, my corporeal friend. Higgins is my name. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use God. it as a reminder. How long have you been down here, man? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Uh-huh. And what exactly do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, 
Aetherwave personality, chairman of the board, galactic defender, sisty pig tycoon. Oh, yeah. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. No. Oh, got a lot. good fantasy, this guy. What happened to this place, man? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Oh, poor you. Ah, oh, you've been down here this whole time. How did you not starve? We know that answer. Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. So you ate sprats. Braised. Boiled. Charred. Skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. You said we, you were an engineer. What did you work on? I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. If you work those mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them, right? Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Oh god, dumb good point. I had thought of that. Uh-huh. So you see my dilemma. Um I no idea what can I find a logic module. Funny thing. I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found me and confiscated the logic module. Oh. Oh. That's overkill. Okay, here we go. Oof. Yep, it's overkill. That didn't give me his key card. God damn it. God damn it. Ah, oh, waste of armor. Now I need to climb all the way back up. God damn it. Damn, why is it so silent right now? No music for me. Okay, let's fight our way through here. Damn. Those. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Yeah, I know. Yeah, deadly. Where do I do? turn those steams off? Is it right here? Ah, yes. I may be stupid, but I'm a stupid engineering scientist genius. That makes sense, I know, I know. I got the engineering skills, man. Oh, workbench. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Whatever that was. A dead vending machine. Okay, there's a lot to repair. That's so rough right now. Mm. Okay, I repaired the right one. I'm almost sure. How's my armor holding up? 69. Mm, I might just replace it. I don't know. I can put mods on the new one. Just because. Not much carrying capacity here. That makes sense that I would do that. Right, Pavati. Right, right, right. I oh, saw you. Okay, okay. I feel kind of light at it. My protein soup is cooking in the bag anyway, so use. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? So this is more so a 
filler episode for me to fill time. Thanking for me, Parvati. There will be a race in your future. The reward, law, and snip oxycomp aromatics, whatever those are. I've no clue. Damn. This race was a guillotine, automatical. Slice. Yeah, right. Makes sense. And you? Hiding in the corner. That too. You probably just crawled in here. Like a wounded animal. Over traumatic to Dave Patrick, aren't we? Okay, did I loot you? Sure, if I came from here. What about this way? Oh, definitely came from here. I remember the spread laying on the floor. That's the last. I'm not sure what the right is. All I know is the decision's final. God, I wanted to freestyle, then she said something. I remember the spread here laying on the floor. Oh, we're gonna... Oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't even get past the first line. Yeah. Mm. What am I missing? Down there, maybe some other way to go. Like that spread lying on the floor, eating it raw because there's nothing more in the store. Higgins ate it all. It was a stupid call. Should have just escaped. Ah, God, for <laughs> ah, no, nothing, nothing. Nothing. The music is way too solid. Audio. All the way up this time. There. Sometimes. Do this. There's no going back. Okay, but what about the chief officer's status? Hey, Mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? No, oh, the first two times I played this game, I wasn't quite. But I won't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just... Living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. And the soul tuna ain't really tuna anyways. It's sc scrap meat. Scrap meat. Fuck, I just made the freestyle rap with that word. Oh, oh god, I'm too tired. Oh, Reed tells me Edgewater is going to die without workers and power. That sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, uh. those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. Uh. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Corporate pro pro 
Corporate, oh, God damn it. Corporate Propaganda 101. We all are a big family. Oh, just like YouTubers Propaganda is calling people, their friends immediately at the start. Hello, my friends. That's YouTube Propaganda, by the way. I've been propaganda. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Yeah, you're right. I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Nope, oh, and she's taking... She was ten steps away all of a sudden. Okay. Yeah, those words don't come easy by. Oh, oh I feel like I'm in a, especially a pessimistic mood today. Oh. Since I tried Call of Duty. Redirect power. Continue. Uh, it's water. Okay. You happy, girl? You happy? I think you did the rightest thing you could sending the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for. Even if they ain't care much for me. Good, good. How do I get the passport now? Or the room key? Here? The. This exit. That's bad. I can't get that. Ludwig's not gonna be happy. Here, maybe. God damn it. Let's see. Journal. Turn in medicine, return, retrieve logic. Do I have it? Deal with the mechanical scouts. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. That's the room I need to get into. God damn it. I'm still missing one guy, maybe in here. A locker room. Could be. God damn it! Plant worker. No. Upstairs. Upstairs. Okay. Ah. Ah. Good thing. I double checked instead of just giving up. Okay. This place is kind of maze. There we go. Weapon parts, the good stuff too. And I'm still not over combat, slightly. And I need water though. Where is something to drink? There. I'll go to apple juice. Where are we? Apple juice addict after all. Okay, we get everything done here actually. Now it's just time to talk. Actually, now it's time to talk our way through the rest of the episode, which I might just play like that. That's a lot of fast traveling everywhere, anyways. We got. Everything done. So, atomical lab. Good, good, good. Okay, here are the folks. Let's see if we find Thomas. Thomas, my man. Everybody keeps staring at me. 
It's not my fault <laughs> the power's dead. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, no kidding. Back. Really? Ah, uh, the elusive part three. Someone stashed it away inside the old geothermal plant. Makes sense that it's there. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Ah. What's on your mind? Anything new here? How long have you lived? <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. Um. Mm, I'm not quite sure. I could just make handguns for just to be sure. 60 minimum armor penetration. Ah, oh, science again. The effects are quite useless though. Hmm. I'm far away from lock picking. Ah, oh, handguns. Let's fill it. Making sure I get that thing up. Anybody else of interest here? No? You. I don't know what you did to talk some sense into Zoe, but I appreciate it. Not yet. Not yet. Let's first talk to Adalai. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Mm. <laughs> oh. Like I can. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh God, I already forgot what I wanted to say. I kind of don't like her, to be honest. Don't know. I like pressing buttons, I guess. Are you really this moronical, or are you just putting on airs? Listen here, Hullhead. I'm only gonna say this once. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. Gladly. You tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Okay. Ah. Uh... Uh, okay, bye. I don't think this uh, this talking her into that into going back into that stuff sealed. I wanted to burn them to the ground for herself. Oh, I can't go in there. I'm gonna come back here and burn everything. Happy for me. The Ah, ah. Not my flowers. No. Okay, it's time to go home, people. Oh, all the wires standing away from them so far. How do you expect me to enjoy the adventures of the mask marketeer with no power? Oops, maybe you shouldn't smoke. Then it would be. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. Yeah, there's nothing left for you here. It's time to go back home. The matter's been weighing on me. Zoe came back, but I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? 
I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. We're gonna have to make our peace with Thompson and hope he takes us back. Listen, we go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not gonna forgive us. She never talked to us again. Uh, don't, you shouldn't care about her. Leave Adelaide behind, then Edgewater needs you back. You better be sure about this. We go back to Edgewater without Adelaide, she's never coming back. Eh. I'm sure it's time you went back to Edgewater, let Adelaide stay here. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And I suspect Reed's learned his lesson by now. Mm -hmm. Might even be willing to talk terms with us. Hey, Thomas, gather up your personals and we'll go talk to Reed together. This is all happening so fast. Give me a little time to give this place a proper goodbye, yeah? Edgewater could use another mechanic. I'm not sure if I'm ready to step into that role, but I'm willing to try my best. Yeah. If you see Reed, let him know we're coming back. Because I'm taking that mechanic with me. Okay. Now we got everything medicine ludwig and that stuff let's go to ludwig first ludwig hey i can't travel to without the problem insanity ah oh, that's loading in where is ludwig oh he's inside of course he is come here your general never seen the veil lit up like this before General Ludwig, ah, oh, you mentioned the logic module. I found one in the two thermal plant. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, well, that reminds me. Got to look into getting us a uniform. Hmm. So this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble. And a little something to remember me by. Yes, he knows me. What's the other thing? What did I get? Shock stick. Bleh. It's not even special. Okay, let's talk to the rest of the people here. The centers in our midst. Was philosophist. <laughs> yeah, that's a philosophist. Let's see if the wick has something to say. Max! I'll meet you on the ship when you're ready. We need an armor on you ASAP. Something got you down? No. General store, not now. Barber shop, nope. This home, right? Yes, here you go, man. You want to mingle, go try the cantina. You don't tell me what to do, I'll have that medicine for you. Let's see it. Don't keep us waiting. Medical and dump. Esfer tells me you've got a history of hypochondria. But, uh, uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Is that some sort of medical condition? Is my plague getting worse or something? <laughs> uh... You obviously need this. Sweet life given nostrum. The first hit's always the best. Oh, you chunky. I together all the bits I had around the domicile. It ain't as much as you deserve, but it's all I got. I'll risk my life to save you, Savanafi. Give me more. You're wringing the blood out of me. Mm. Here, you can have whatever's in my pockets. Here you go. See you around. Um, sorry, go. I've got some time. Yep. Oh, I want to have an easy medicine. I'll let him have it. I can't say I'm pleased, but what's done is done. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm very charismatic. Yep, I got, to some, report. I got some fingers for you. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Nah. That dude. Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. 
duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. I was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Mabel Burgess, age 37, right or left-handed? Let's just say no longer applicable. I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. Here we are, Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint to ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. Oh yeah, what is... What's this? Junior Deputy Constable? What? You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Oh. Congratulations. Which bonuses do I get? How did so many of your people end up marauders? Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people. Answer me. Marauders are folk who lost the will to keep working, wandered out into the wilds and gave into their baser instincts. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turn deserter, some turn marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Well, yeah, I heard one of your workers shot himself, Eugene, I think. Uh-huh. I recall young Eugene. Good kid. Nice smile. Fussy about his health, though. Took a little too much adrenaline. time. That'll do a number on your brain matter. Says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of adrenaline. time. Uh-huh. What's I... Nope, apparently nothing. Okay. A friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Sure. Let's go see the big boss, Thompson Reed. The Sultan or Canroy. Hey man, hey man. I got This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Now. Adelaide won't come back to town, but her followers will. That's good enough for me. Adelaide and I have a history. It was unlikely she'd ever come back. But hope springs eternal. We are in your debt. I am authorizing you for a discount on all official Spacer's Choice products, courtesy of the people of Edgewater. Ah, oh, I said 5%. Oh boy. Wait, there's something I meant. Well, I've been meaning to ask you. By all means. Ah, uh, you have your workers back. What happens now? This whole fiasco is not one I am keen on repeating. I was too hard on my own workers. I pushed them to their breaking point. Uh, good for you to realize where the breaking points are. With more hands at the cannery, I expect productivity will rise. I expect we'll grow. And I expect I can ask corporate to send us some more medicine. We'll survive. One way or another. Okay, someone named Grace was guarding at the camp. Do you know the name? I do. Grace Romero, wasn't it? Brusque, truculent, never seemed to care much for cannery work. You wasted on the camera. You should think about making her a guard. Protecting a camp from marauders is no small task. I'll see to fitting her out in a guard's uniform. Good boy. Ah, oh, tell me about the history. Her son got sick with plague a couple years back. Company never gave us enough medication to treat the whole town. So I had to choose, you see. Adelaide's child or someone else's. She's never forgiven me. I don't expect she ever will. Who was that a person, though? Um, what's Pavadi? Yeah, anything you've got to say? Something you need? No? 
Really? I appreciate what you've done for us. Okay. By all means. No? Really? Am I all done here? Huh, weird. It's Pesos Choice. I didn't even get an upgrade in levels. Shock stick. Oh, it's a legendary weapon. Oops. This is way better than a normal stump. <laughs> oh, that's just lazy writing. Oh. Okay. Um, sure. Um, yeah. We're done here. Let's go back to the ship. And as soon as we're on the ship, the episode is pretty much over. Right? How far am I into it? 40 minutes. Yeah, that's good. 45 minutes, so I guess. And then we're gonna feast our eyes on the new planet with those reshaped molds. Oh, decks to open. Nobody here? No? Nothing? Still not? I thought she talks to me first before I allow her on my ship. Oh, wow. If I'd been able to get out here, I so would have stripped this for parts. What? Something you need? You belong to me now, girl. Um, okay. Just. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Oh. I didn't grab what the. Can I, do for you, Captain? I didn't grab the generator. I didn't grab the generator. I'm a fool. I didn't grab the generator. Oops. Yeah. I need to grab the generator. They're still here. I can't kill Adelaide yet. Damn it. I always want to kill her, and I never side with her. Um, that's mine. Bye. Bye. It's actually a nice uh, red light. Okay, what's next? Turn to the unreliable. Oh god, damn it! No. And I, God, now I can't fast travel there because the goddamn map. This in the way. Okay, okay. It did work. Now Pavati's gonna act like that's the first time she saw my ship. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Uh, uh, you've never been on a ship before? I've worked on the occasional supply coach in need of repairs. Once I built a little model craft out of spare parts, but Mr. Thompson found out and I had to take it apart. I want to ask no. you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? You are already my second in command. That's mm. <laughs> not interesting. <laughs> Uh, I'll be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin, it's yours. Yes. I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. And you're my commander. Commander Pavati. That's the wrong... No, that's the right military order, right? Yeah. Hey, look at that. I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. But first, take off your pants. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. 
Guilty as charged. I need What's to occupying your thoughts in a new outfit. Uh, too much talking. Let's see if he comes with me when I leave the ship. No. God damn it. Oh, can I switch his outfit? Parvati, just Parvati. Oh, I guess one of the suits we will land on. Right control armor. On the Preacher. The pink one. The pink one will land on him. There. Perfect. There. There. Arm repair. My armor. Not reliable, has always good conditioning. Okay. Am I actually overweight? Seriously? How did that happen? Oh god. Duh, I should scrap stuff then. Oh, I'm getting a flaw maybe. What's the flaw? Impediphobia. Huh. That's actually a good flaw to have. I'm taking it. And then I'm gonna put it into Ah oh, my weapon durability loss is good. Damage per flow, I could just use more carrying weight though. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Need to use the skillful stuff. The useful stuff. Okay, break down. Break down. Burp, burp, burp. Sell value. And I'm still a little bit. Oh. Wait. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, the nasty, the nasty, the nasty part. The next part will be probably the ground breaker talking hour. Which will also be a long one. I'm pretty much done with talking. I can't go into my room. No, I can't. I can't talk anymore. I'm done here. Yo, thanks for watching. You save. We made it out of the first planet. That's a big victory, actually. Thanks for watching. Peace out.